Hi guys, it's Vance here again. Sorry, I'm a bit, a bit MIA the past few days. Well, there's so many things in my mind. My boiler was leaking. <laughs> but apparently, you know what I have discovered recently? There's a difference between a boiler and a hot water heater. And that mine is not a boiler but a hot water heater. Apparently, a boiler is one that connects to the radiators to heat them up. But the one that doesn't connect to the radiators to heat them up is called a hot water heater. I was live and I was learning a lot of different ways to call the boiler from different countries. And the American people are saying that it's called a hot water heater. Which is probably what you're actually meant to call my boiler, which is not a boiler. <laughs> And New Zealand calls it a hot water cylinder. That's what I've learned. See, we we'll learn something every day. Ah, uh, bloody hell, have you ever had a leak with your boiler or hot water heater or hot water cylinder, whatever you may call it? Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Ah, I've been so busy trying to control that leak. Like, I just saw some splash of water on the carpet outside my daughter's room in front of the, where the boiler is in the hallway and I was thinking oh maybe she spilled some water or something you know but then eventually it started to get more damp and I was like what the hell is this and then my daughter has actually been saying it seems like it's coming from underneath and we started to have some internet problems a lot of people think I'm crazy when I say that we had internet issues yeah but Look, this is our, my hot water heater, which I used to call my boiler. And that is where we connect the Wi-Fi. This is our Ethernet port. And oh my goodness! It's still... Oh no, it's still bloody leaking. <gasps> oh shit, I thought it wasn't leaking anymore. <laughs> See? This is why I keep this open. I put it there to absorb some of the water that is gone on the carpet. And now, well, I've used up a lot of towels, okay? So don't judge me. I'm using my bed sheets now. See, it's becoming dry now. So thank God for that. I'm gonna shampoo my carpet next. My, this ethernet was starting to get really wet from the leak. And, well, we started having internet issues. The water piling up here on this side, plus the internet having problems. You know, I checked the boiler because I'm like, yeah, that's where the ethernet thing is. And that's where there's water. So when I looked in here, there's like a lot of water. This is flooding. And I put some towels there. I put some towels all around here. And, well, apparently this is the culprit like the this was leaking but now i don't know what is leaking because it doesn't seem like that's leaking but anyway they said that they will come back to find a part um those are the pipes which obviously well they they, they told me to put tissue around it to see if there's any leak but i did tell them that it's dry they didn't believe me i'm so glad that the weather is nice today so that i can air dry all the towels that I've used for the leak plus I managed to clean some balls <laughs> not that kind of balls plus my son's lunch bag that was really stinky I have no space I have bed sheets I have bed sheets that I had to hang plus a lot of my boxes so under there is where I put my Christmas decorations this is my Christmas tree and that is used to be there the Christmas tree and I had to get rid of three boxes that has that had gotten really wet so now I'm like where do I put my Christmas decorations in <laughs> because I recently used this bag Ria for let me and greet <laughs> I saw it and I was like hmm and I put all the Christmas balls and everything in there so you see, I've been so very busy <sighs> trying to manage And you know what makes it hard? I don't not that kind of hard. <laughs> I bet you know what makes it hard. <laughs> what makes it harder for me to manage is that I don't have a dryer. Or a hair dryer even.
even. So I cannot dry my carpet. So anyway, you know, the first time when it was leaking and everything, I just used towels, towels, but they get saturated so quickly. And then I get another towel and then another towel. And then ah, when I run out of towels, I started with the bed sheets. Oh, oh no. And then I started to look in my laundry like are there any veggies that i need to wash <laughs> so then at least i reduced the amount of laundry that i have to do after doing all this wet stuff that i had to wash <sighs> but you know what at least it's just water from the boiler well at first i didn't think about it like i just do a normal cycle which was a which was a waste of time actually because i should have gone for just a quick wash because it's not really oily or dirty it's just water, but obviously I want to rinse it and wash it properly because it's the carpet. <laughs> Bucket wash should have been able to suffice. I'm just happy that my carpet is dry now and I just have to shampoo that and then that would be good. Because I can't leave that wet. The carpet, if I leave that wet, that's gonna get really, really stinky and I don't really want to have that. I actually end up using up all my spare bed sheets and everything. I managed to already wash and dry and fold a lot of them now so that's mm, gotten rid of a lot of my stress I was so stressed <laughs> because I'm going on holiday next week <laughs> like not even one week anymore like just four days I just have three shifts and then one day off and then I'm leaving yes so like four days left you know, and so like I'm thinking about oh the clothes that I need to bring, you know, pack stuff and what are the stuff. Like I have to get rid of stuff that might go bad in the fridge, you know, those kind of things. And then now this happens. But thank you so much, Mad Dog, because Mad Dog actually made me feel better yesterday. Or was it the other day? Like saying that at least this happened before I left for holiday. Because imagine what that will be like if I come back and <laughs> my house will probably be in big, deep flood. It always makes me feel better to know what would have been a worse situation. <laughs> Could be worse. It's good mm, to have it now than when I'm away. What I've learned so far from having this experience, well, to share to everybody who has never experienced it before. Because I've never experienced this before, you know. So basically, when that happens, it's like an emergency. So you have to call, well, for me, I call my estate agents because I'm renting this place. So I call my estate agents and then they got a guy to come. I've learned some a lot of stuff from the people on my live as well. Like they said, if the water is hot, it's coming from inside the, the boiler or the hot water heater. And if the water is cold, it's coming from a pipe. Um, but this one is coming from the boiler, but it's cold. It's hard for people to distinguish where a leak is coming from. So that tissue trick where they made me put the tissue around the pipe to make sure that it's not the pipe that's leaking. But actually for this particular one, the leak from, was from a valve. Like, I could hear it dropping and I told the guy on the phone, like, I could hear there's something dropping inside, like, a, you know, water drops. This water heater is apparently not a very common one and that's why they still haven't managed to fix it properly until now because they're trying to find parts and because it's not a very common one, it's gonna be difficult to find the parts for it. That's why I keep it open. And that kind of annoys me because it's like an obstacle really out there in my hallway. The stuff that's meant to be in the cupboard are outside and then, you know, I can't close the boiler cupboards and put whatever it is that's meant to be outside the cupboard, the cupboard doors. And so that is displaced in some part of the hallway. And now I feel like every time I go to my hallway, it's like an obstacle relay. <sighs> Which is a little bit stressful for me. I just want it to be over soon. But actually, I'm just really happy that the weather is good. I'm able to dry some stuff quicker than normal. And uh, 
uh, don't even remind me of my, my heated towel rack that is stopped working because I really really miss that thing and that was like my favorite, my, it used to be my favorite part of the house. Anyway, we have some a lot of adventures to look forward to. Yeah, so I, I think until the end of this month, I'll just be doing one live a day for the meantime just to allow myself some time and reducing some stress. Although, you know that I love going live and I love that, but it takes up some of my time. And if I just do one a day, it, I would be able to cope better. I will have a lot of time to go live when I go on holiday. So, you know, I'll make it up to you then. For the meantime, while I'm sorting out these house problems and, you know, preparing for my holiday, I'm sorry, I won't be able to go live as many times as I used to. But I'll try my best to put my live schedule on my post, on my Bigo page, so that you will know exactly what time I'm gonna go live. And I forgot to bring boxes from work. I remind me, I need to get boxes from work so that I can transfer all those Christmas balls and get rid of that box from for the Christmas tree. Because uh, I feel like it's gonna get moldy if I leave it. You know? Damn. Because it's gotten damp. But that Christmas tree is just such a different shape and size that I wonder if I'm gonna find a box that will fit it. And then I can finally have my whole way back. And uh, it would just be so much better. Another one that I've learned is that the first thing you have to do is reduce the pressure, apparently, if you know how to do that. But I did not do that because I don't have any experience and I need that if I touch anything, that I don't know about, I might make it worse. <laughs> so, and I know that the guys were gonna come anyway because they came quite quickly. <laughs> Ten seconds, boom. <laughs> Joking! I'm joking! Oh my goodness! <laughs> no! Because, you know, it's kind of like an emergency if you have a leak. Because it could cause a lot of damage to the house. So, they actually... Um, I know that they are arriving soon, sir. But I did not bother to do the reduce the pressure business. And apparently, so do you reduce the pressure? Oh, the boiler. But then, because this is... I was searching about the boiler. That is the issue. And this is not a boiler! <gasps> That's why! But at the moment, I'm in like a cycle. Well, the past few days, I've been in a cycle where, you know, <laughs> I try to dry my carpet. When it gets soaked, I change that, put another dry one on. And I just keep having to do that and then wash all of that, whatever I have managed to, you know, whatever I used for that, wash all of that, hang all of that, dry it, you know, wait for it to dry. And seriously, I don't have that much space. And like, actually, you know, those chairs there, I started to put some blankets on there because I am running out of space. And you know, it's so stressful to be like, where do I put these things now? You know, because I don't have a dryer. So now, now that the, the leaking has stopped and then the carpet is dry, thank God. Now I think that would be my last washing, whatever is there. I still have some towels. After I dry it, I put it here. That's not that many towels anymore. So I only have those towels left, plus the sheets that I've put on the floor at the moment. And, and it seems like those ones are not really getting wet anymore. So hopefully that will be the last ones. And then it seems like that will be the last ones. And then after I wash that, that's it. Thank God for that. And then the, uh, the towels that are drying outside, I can just keep them and I don't have to use them anymore. Well, 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 I did see some leaks, some leaks still. So maybe I will still have to use some of those towels. But at least it's not as bad as it used to be. I just really don't want to have a leak anymore. <laughs> That's all I want. I hope they find a vault before I go away. Because what if they forget about it and I forget about it? And then boom, what do we do now? Ugh. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I'm a ninja without a name. I'm a ninja without a name.
Don't fall in love. Available on my eBay.